Charlie Parsons Still for Boxing can. Social in association with William Hill and Empire Fight Store. We've basically just done the interview uh, without being recorded. Eddie, Edgar Belanga, your thoughts? Uh, a little bit underwhelming, perhaps? I don't think so, no. I mean, I think for 12 months out of the ring, um, three knockdowns. I mean, the last round, it just went a bit quiet from... By the way, I'm not on fire. That's just some smoke machine going up here. If you can. Um, it just went a bit quiet from, what, round six to 11? And I gave Quigley probably four rounds on the spin, really. Um, but big last round. And every time Quigley engaged with him, he was in trouble. And, and Quigley boxed smart and boxed off the back foot. It was very frustrating. But it's a good solid 12 rounds for Edgar Belanga. And I think a good performance all in all. Obviously, a lot of Edgar's building up was all on those first round knockouts. Yeah. Um, maybe struggled to close the distance a little bit tonight. I mean, there were times where he switched on it at like the last round and he was excellent. I think when he let his hands go, he had Quigley in trouble all the time. But he didn't let his hands go from round, like I said, 6 to 11, 7 to 11. Just took his foot off the gas and was following him around and not cutting off the ring. We saw that a little bit with Regis last week as well. But when he let his hands go, every time he landed, you saw the, you could hear the punches. And he's a huge puncher, but just feel like with people that are coming to win, it's going to be a different story. When you sort of getting papped up here, um, when you sort of, I mean, the whole card, it was an excellent card tonight. I know you were yeah. just saying before we started yeah. that heavyweight fight between Kawanaki and yeah. Kuzmato. I've got a dob Colm in it. Colm halfway through the fight goes, Kuzmato versus Thomas Carty next. Maybe. Next. Maybe. Well, I think that's the most random Maybe. shout ever. By the way, Thank shout out Thomas you. Carty, but do you not think that's the most random at matchmaking day, ever? At the end of the day, Adam Konaki is definitely not the fighter that he once was so and listen Joe Cusimano is a good heavyweight but he's not a world class heavyweight at all so you two are arguing I like oh, Thomas really? Carter against Joe Cusimano I mean Cusimano I mean all right, maybe not next listen I mean it's a, it's a, it's a great fight but um, Cusimano you know now we got we got options on him so we'll be looking to put him in a big heavyweight fight I thought he was brilliant and by the way I thought I thought Konaki was unbelievable I mean he's you know, at times you wanted to see him out of the fight and then you, you'd see him find a way back in the fight. Maybe could have been stopped a little bit earlier. I would like to see the towel go in a little bit earlier. But he's brave as they come. And I'm gutted for him because he's such a nice man with a huge heart. And it was a great fight. Reshat Mati, unbelievable atmosphere. The toughest yeah. geezer ever, oh, by the way. But, you know, he, you saw him knock out Jose Vargas and he's dangerous, that guy, the Dakota Linga. Um, uh, we'll do. I'll, we'll do an interview. We'll do an interview. Yeah, yeah. It's not a huddle. It's not a huddle. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I'll do yours in a minute as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think that um, Dakota Ling is very, very tough. Um, R Rivera fight was a good fight as well. Um, you know, it was a really good card. Khalil Co, fantastic. And what was great was the different pockets of support. Great night of boxing. Um, moving forward next week, back in Sheffield, it's a heavy schedule for you. Yes, yes, I've got a really busy week next week. Loads of big fights to make and then up to Sheffield for Dalton Smith against Sam Maxwell, British and Commonwealth title. It's going to be a great fight, it's been a great week in New York, sold out tonight, great atmosphere and uh, on we go. Just quickly before I rattle through some of the big guys, <laughs> Oscar De La Hoya, more back and forth continues. Yeah, I, just, I thought, do you know what, I'm just going to reply because he's slagging everything off. He flew into New York, I think once, maybe twice, begging Belanga to sign him and he's like trying to give it a big one so he's got enough on his plate I don't want to go back and forth with Oscar I just hope he can find happiness and I hope he's going to be okay What are the zone's thoughts on it because you're both on the same platform right is it a little bit awkward Yeah I think they've probably given him a little slap on the bottom a few times and probably tonight as well but I don't mind I said to the guys I don't mind it's great for me Oscar De La Hoya is a big name in America and all he talks about is me I mean it's free publicity so, um, you know, if you asked 100% um, of people in the world with a brain, who would you rather be right now, Matchroom or Golden Boy? I would say out of that 100%, 100% would say Matchroom. Bash. Um, quickly, Anthony Joshua, has anything moved from this morning? I know the contract was no, going to be sent out. Any Dillian's team have the contract. Obviously, we're not going to ask them to sign it today, but we need them to come back in the next 24 hours on it. We've got two other fighters ready to sign the contract to go August 12th, but we'll see what happens. Hopefully, it's Dillian White. I have my doubts, but if not, we'll be ready to announce next week. You bank Junior Ben, any update? No.
Eduardo, thank you very much, mate.